custom craft. So today I'm going to be making something like this. A cleaver made from leaf spring steel. I uh, got some leaf spring, actually a couple of leaf springs, several, many leaf springs from uh, a good friend of my dad. And uh, so I decided to test it out, made one of these. And uh, this thing is about seven inches from here to here. Steel, really looking forward to making this out of this. So these two were, there we go, like that, that was one piece. So I'm going to be making a video of turning this into something like that. Won't be exact. Maybe, might be, we'll see. But uh, just so we all see here, the only thing that I'm not going to forge out is this little piece right here uh, where I hit it with the cutoff wheel as I was taking it all apart. I'm going to grind that out real quick because as I figured out in forging this other one out, there's still too many marks that I couldn't get out. So I'll be grinding that out here and then the rest is all going to be hand forged. Okay, so after I quenched it and I put it in the oven to temper for two hours at 
I think it was about 375, somewhere between 375 and 400. I took it out. That thing was hard as a rock, but that thing right there, you can even see it cracked. So the crack runs right about to there. So that's a good two inch crack. That probably happened because right after I quenched it and I put it in my vise to keep it straight, I had to loosen the vise to reposition it and I didn't have my tongs around it well enough and the thing slipped and fell. I picked it up, I didn't see any crack, but during the tempering process, I think that's when it happened. That's the bad news. The good news is, is that because it's only out to about here, there's still all of this that's still good, still hard, still straight. So design modification time. I'm gonna cut that bad part off and still use the rest of this. So let's do that. I've been doing is I've been chasing that crack. I can still see it right there. I can't tell right now on either side how much further it goes in. It's got to be real close. Uh, I hope it's real close because the profile of this is starting to look, uh, well, we'll say different, but uh, I don't know. It's kind of growing on me, so I'm going to keep going and hopefully this thing comes up pretty soon. 